Today, I'm giving y'all my week two predictions. First game is probably the game of the week everybody's looking forward to. We have an AFC playoff rematch in the Chiefs versus Jaguars. The Chiefs offense looked pretty bad last week against a not so good lines of defense. That was without Travis Kelsey. I don't know if he's supposed to be back this week or not, but either way, go ahead and give me the Jaguars here. I think the Jaguars are a very good team. Chiefs throwing 0-2 is obviously a big deal and probably not as going to happen. But this is more of like a bold take. The divisional matchup, Ravens versus Bengals. Obviously, Bengals and Joe Burrow looked really, really, really bad last week. Even though the Ravens beat the Houston Texans, Lamar Jackson didn't look the best neither. I'm expecting Joe Burrow and this Bengals offense to step back up, but I don't know if it'll happen this week because it's an AFC North Divisional game. It's always dogfight, like scrappy kind of game. So go ahead and give me the Ravens here. Raiders got their week one win. Bills did not. I know Josh Allen played terrible. I'm not going to overreact too much to it though because they always play in tough games versus the Jets. Go ahead and give me the Bills bouncing back here. Honestly, Titans probably should have won that game seven times versus the Saints. But they just kept choking Ryan Sandy Hill through three interceptions. The Chargers, for the most part, went blow to blow for the Dolphins. So, obviously, I'm going to pick the Chargers here. Colts at Texans divisional game. Anthony Richardson versus CJ Stroud. I do think both of these quarterbacks actually look really good in their week one. But I think Anthony Richardson's team in general look best. So, let's go ahead and pick the Colts here. Jets versus Cowboys would have originally been a very good game. Now, I think this would be a heavy defensive game. The Jets defense is probably like top three. And so are the Dallas Cowboys as well. I think this is going to be a final score of like 13 to 10 maybe. Go ahead and give me the Cowboys. The Washington Commanders almost lost to the Arizona Cardinals. The Arizona Cardinals are like one of the worst teams. So go ahead and give me the Broncos here. Thursday night football, Vikings versus Eagles. The Vikings have a terrible defense. They allow Baker Mayfield to beat them. Baker Mayfield, yes. Obviously, I'm going to go with the Eagles here. Everybody was hyped up about the Bears. I was not one of those people. I thought they were going to be the same old Bears, and they were last Sunday against the Packers. I kind of liked them in the matchup versus the Bucks, but the Bucks did win last week, so go ahead and give me them. Packers at Falcons is a very interesting matchup. Go ahead and give me the Packers. I just don't like Desmond Ritter all that much. He's decent. I don't really think he's going to win games for the Falcons team. I think Jordan Love is actually going to do that. Seahawks kind of disappointed a lot of people last week. I I wasn't very high on the Seahawks. I think I thought people were overrating them a little bit, but I wasn't expecting them to lose to the Rams. So go ahead and give me the line. Speaking of the Rams, we have 49ers versus the Rams. Yes, the Rams did look good last week. Honestly, the 49ers look like the best team all around. So go ahead and give me the Niners. I think the Giants will actually score versus the Cardinals. If they don't, that's very embarrassing. So go ahead and give me the Giants. Going back over here for Sunday Night Football, Dolphins at Patriots. The Dolphins and Patriots games are always tough, but just from what I've seen from Tua and Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle and just that offense and hope, I'm going to have to go ahead and pick the Dolphins here. Then we have two Monday Night Football games this week. New Orleans Saints versus the Carolina Panthers. I'll be here. I know the Saints are probably heavily favored here, but honestly, they should have lost versus the Titans. The Titans wouldn't have thrown three interceptions. I'm going to go ahead and pick my Panthers here, but honestly, I could see that going either way. Then we have Browns versus Steelers. We have two AFC North matchups in this. I don't know who to pick here though. I think the Steelers kind of disappointed me last week and the Browns did the opposite. Could see the Steelers winning, but go ahead and give me the Browns. So that's my week one picks, everybody. Let me know your picks in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.